This is a common problem with mixer taps. This one is actually leaking from the top there, which indicates that the actual cartridge that is in there has actually failed. It could be one of the sealing o-rings, or it could be some components actually in the cartridge itself. So the first thing we need to do is isolate the water supply, which I'm now going to do. So can I just check that that's isolated? Which it is. And I'm just going to take a small screwdriver and I'm just going to pry it off the plastic cap off the front. If you look through the hole there, you can actually see a grub screw which needs undoing with an Allen key. Once we've loosened that, we can then lift off that cap. We now need to undo this shroud. Sometimes you can get them by hand and other times you can't and you need to use some kind of tool. My favourite tool for undoing these is the strap wrench. You can put that on there, tighten it up and then you can use that to undo that shroud without actually damaging it at all. We now just need a large adjustable spanner. We simply put that on the nut and just undo it in an anti-clockwise direction. So it's now off to the plumbers merchants to get a direct replacement for this. Well that was fun getting one of these. I actually went in three plumbers merchants. Two of them said that they couldn't actually get them and I should go back to the place where I bought the tap from. Went into one plumbers merchants and luckily they actually had one. But it's a slightly different code number, but it does look absolutely identical to the one that I've taken out. So we're now going to replace that back in there. If you take a look in there, you can see that there's three holes where the water goes and then there's two little locating holes for the lugs. They actually line up with those two lugs on there. So that simply pops straight back in there. until it locates in the two holes. Now all we need to do is take the nut and you do need to ensure that you don't cross thread it when you're putting this back in. And that has now gone in there a few turns so we're just going to tighten that up with the spanner. You don't need to go mad when you're doing this. Before we go any further, I'm now going to turn the water back on and just check for any leaks before we fully assemble the tap. So you can see that that's worked. We'll now just turn off the tap. So now that we know that is working okay, we can now reassemble the tap fully. So it's now simply a case of screwing back on the shroud. Then we just need to put the handle back on and then we can just use the X key that we used before, put that in there and then we can just tighten that back up. Then we can just try that in both directions. And you can see that that is working perfectly. Now all that remains is to put in the little indicator. So the red goes on the left hand side. And that's it, that is the job done. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you have found it useful, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already.